Hello everyone, welcome back to What's New at Yankee Dabbler. My name is DJ and today we're going to be taking a look at some new items that hopefully will find their way on your layout. But before we get started, let's get some weed, man. With some Scenic Masters Trackside Weeds. That's right, those things that you try to get rid of your garden, you can now put on your layout. Doesn't make sense when you think about it. But anyway, these are really cool. If you want to detail your layout to make it look like a weedy mess, come get these from Yankee Dabbler. We're selling these for $17.59. It's cheaper than some of the weed that's out there, if you know what I mean. Alright, so anyway, so come in Yankee Dabbler and check these guys out. Hey, speaking of your layout, I'm sure for our end scalers, you're looking for some new motive power to pull some things. Or at least that's the excuse you tell yourself. Now let's check out these Broadway Limited Alco diesels that came out here. And these are some beautiful looking engines. As you can see here, I have a multitude of different row names like the Rio Grande. I got the Union Pacific. I got one of my personal favorites is the Santa Fe Super Chief. I got the... Southern Pacific, and of course, for our Pennsylvania fans, I have the Pennsylvania. Now, these engines come with a powered and a non powered B unit, okay? So the A unit is powered, but the B is not. But it really makes it for really neat concepts if you have an AB unit on your train, or if you want to get really crazy and get a couple of them, you can have an ABBA set, whatever you want, you're in charge. Now, these diesel locomotives come with Paragon 3 sound, and they also include Rolling Thunder. So these are really cool uh, diesel locomotives to have. Rolling Thunder, for those of you who don't know or aren't familiar with Broadway Limited, is they actually sell a speaker system that these. Um, diesel locomotives can connect wirelessly so you can kind of amplify that sound that you have on your locomotives they're really cool so these diesel locomotives uh the set ab sets they sell for 329 dollars and 99 cents but we're selling them here at yankee dabbler for 263.99 i think these are really great looking engines i personally love the pa alcos i think they're really cool and uh, you know like we like to do on this show is we're going to run some of these so let's see what they sound like so since we're in the former backyard of the Pennsylvania Railroad, I thought we would try the Pennsylvania engine. So let's check her out, shall we? Let's start her up. All right. Let's hear the horn. Here's the bell. And away we go. Back up. Whew. That's a cool sounding one. I really enjoy that one. So, as I said before, these locomotives retail for $329.99. We're selling them here for $263.99. And that's a great uh, diesel locomotive to have on your layout. I love the sounds. We've tried out some N scale engines in the past where the speakers, truthfully, have not been that loud and you kind of have to hear what they sound like. Well, that engine it has a nice, clear speaker. You're not going to be disappointed with that. You're not going to go in and replace it with a different speaker. You really got to enjoy this. So, come into Yankee Dabbler and check these suckers out because they're not going to be here for So, we're going to try something a little bit new here at Yankee Dabbler because we want to get into all aspects and all fields including the music industry so we decided to come up with our own album that's right we came up with album songs of model railroading for example here's the wife song oh my wife told me if i bought another train she would get in her car and drive away 
I wonder where she's at. I wonder where she's at. I wonder where she's at. It's gonna be a big seller. I know it. If you're looking for some ballast hoppers to run on your layout, it's a good thing we're here because we got you covered. Check out these Atlas 41 foot ballast hoppers. And as you can see, I have once again a bunch of different row names. I have the CSX. I have the Mass Dot. I got the Pink Norfolk Southern. I got the Missouri Pacific, and of course, everyone's favorite Amtrak. Now, these are really cool looking cars here. As you can see, these actually have a little bit of beef to them. So I like cars that have a little bit of weight to them, as you know on the show. These are really cool looking. As you can see, I even have the little reflective um, decals on the uh, the car here. So this is a really neat car here. And all these cars that Atlas does add a lot of detailing. And I think you're going to be really happy with these, especially if you don't have any ballast hoppers to have on your car, uh, on your layout. I think you're really going to enjoy them. Now, once again, we came up with another song involving hopper cars. And one of my favorite songs entitled Food or Hoppers. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, food or hoppers, food or hoppers, I only got enough money for one of them, food or hoppers. I oh, know, I think you know what my decision would be. Now, if you check this out here, these hopper cars retail for $31.98. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $25.59, so it's a great price, especially if you want to get a whole bunch of them. And believe it or not, I also have three packs of these sets. So any of these particular ones that you're looking for, I have a corresponding three pack. So if you want to get a whole bunch of them, check those out. Those three packs are retailing for $95.85, but we're actually selling them here for $67 straight. $67 for three of those hopper cars. I think that's a great deal. You're really going to enjoy them and get them on your layout so you can, well, you know, we don't need food. We need hoppers. So let's get them. So you want more diesels? Well, we got them. Just like these Rapido B36-7s from GE. And these are really cool looking diesel locomotives. I am very impressed with the quality that we have here. As you can see, some of them have rotating beacon lights. Some of them have ditch lights that are going back and forth. And you know me, I like anything that has some type of animation, I am really a fan of. As you can see, some of the number boards even light up on these diesel locomotives. These are just really cool diesel locomotives. I know I say that a lot, I watch these shows, I'm like, oh, I said the same thing, but these are really neat engines. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of different row names here. Well, not necessarily row names, but styles. So, for example, this is just a regular Conrail. Then, of course, as you saw here, I have the Conrail Quality. Then if you see here, I have the Southern Pacific, but this is what they call the speed lettering. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of uh, tilting to an angle there. And then this is the later Union Pacific, or Southern Pacific uh, model, rather, uh, with the block lettering there. So that is, I mean, this is really neat looking uh, diesel now, locomotives. Now, these diesel locomotives retail for $339.95. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $305.95. These are really cool looking diesel locomotives. Repito makes a fantastic model. I'm very impressed with the detailing that we have there. And of course, if you think that price is a little bit too much, do that at engineer hall discount that you can throw in your order there. But I, I'm really interested to see what these engines sound like, as I know you are. So let's check them out and see what they sound like. So I put two of them on the track here, and according to Rapido, I'm 100% grade A nerd certified. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Not sure. But anyway, I got two of these engines on the layout. Kind of unusual pairing, but I'm sure maybe this exists at some point. So the first thing before I got started, the, one of the neat sequences that they have here is they have what is called a kind of a gray crossing Doppler effect. And if you ever never heard it before, let's check it out. That's such a cool. Uh, feature that they have here. All right, let's get them started up. All right, let's hit the horn. The bell.
And I got a train here that we're going to be pulling out. Alright. All aboard. Not a parting. The grade A nerd certified train contest. Now, one of the main things that Repeater does to their engines is sometimes they have little Easter eggs on the sound systems. And I got a couple here that I'm going to show for you. So this particular one here, I'm calling Rail Fans Rejoice. So I got to pretend that's a bunch of Rail Fans watching the train go by. Uh, for those of you a uh, fan of Where's the Beef, we got you covered. All right, now for some reason, I guess the people at Repeat are fans of the show Cheers. So check out this segment. I still say that Kennedy will be president someday. For all the way, no way, maybe even next time. You know how politicians are. Oh, no. uh, I don't really want to think so there, Diana. Uh, I, I've got a pet little theory about that. Uh, you see, if you go back in history and uh, take every president, you'll find that the numerical value of each letter in their last name was equally divisible into the uh, year in which they were elected. Uh, so who's going to win, Cliff? Uh, Reagan again? What, uh, no, 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 not a chance yet. I figured it out. Uh, by my calculations, uh, our next president has to be named Yelnik Iguawa. That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. So that's kind of an interesting segment to throw into a model train. We also got some percussion parts. Or if you don't like that one. It's time for diesels. It's time for diesels. It's time for diesels. Oh yeah. It's So anyway, these are really cool diesel locomotives. As you see, it's just chock full of Easter eggs, lights, sounds, everything that you could possibly want in a locomotive. So come to Yankee Dabbler and check these out because these aren't going to last long. Now, if you excuse me, it's time for diesels. 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 It's time. So continuing on our hopper kick, we have here some 39-foot Trinity two-bay cover hoppers from Walters. And if you check out these guys, I think you're going to be really happy with the way these look. These aren't particularly the most colorful uh, hoppers on the market, but they certainly are really nice. As you can see, they're very prototypical of cars that you would see on the railroads today. And I really particularly like how we have the nice die-cast metal wheels. As you see, these cars just glide on the rails. They do a great job. And as you know, I like things that glide and have detailing and have a little weight and everything that you could possibly imagine. I really like these things. Now, these particular hoppers sell for $31.98. We're selling them here for $25.59. So those are cool-looking hopper cars. Believe it or not, they're almost at the same price as the end scale ballast hoppers that we're taking a look at so we got some really economically friendly cars that you can add to your collection so i suggest highly that you get some of these trinity hoppers and to continue with our next album song this is a particularly uh inspiring ballad about spending a little bit too much time working on your layout <clears throat> yeah. i told my wife i'd be five minutes working on the layout oh crap it's 3 a.m all right, so come to Yankee Dabbler, get these cars in your lap. I conclude our show with one more diesel locomotive because you guys just can't get enough. I know I can't. And we're going to be taking a look at another Rapido engine, the SW1200 diesel swishers. Check out these guys. I love these engines here. We got the Grand Trunk. We got the Rock Island. I have the Rio Grande. I got the Northern Pacific. I got here the Penn Central. I have here the Baltimore and Ohio, 
And finally, we got the Burlington Northern. Now, if we stay on these engines for a little bit longer, we're going to see that every single one of these locomotives has some type of subtle row name specific variation. So, as you can see, I have a beacon light here. But if you go to the B&L, as you see, I don't have that, which was prototypical. But if I take a look at the Penn Central, a little bit different. The Northern Pacific actually has another beacon, but as you can see, it's a little bit different here. And I have a couple of different looking exhaust things, and actually the bell's a different color too. I got the Rio Grande, again, another different design here. Actually, this has one horn here, where if you go to the Rock Island, you're gonna see I have multiple horns there. And if I go to the Grand Trunk, I'm going to see something totally different. I actually have some lights here. Uh, the headlights are actually a little bit different than all the other engines. It's just really neat, all the subtle variations that they do. And one other thing, I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera, but every single one of these uh, has uh, truck lights down here, as you can see here. And then this is really cool to illuminate your track as the train's going around. I know what I like to do sometimes is turn the lights off in my layout and see all my trains go with all the lights and everything. So I think the more lights, the better. And that's really a lot of, uh, a lot of cool features that you're having with these diesel locomotives. Of course, these engines have DCC sound, everything that you expect to find in a high quality repeater item. So just like we did with the other diesel locomotives, we're gonna fire up and see what they sound like. These diesel locomotives come equipped with AVEC Sun Sound. So let's sound, hear what that sounds like, shall we? Let's get her started up. All right, here's the horn. Here's the bell. Let's back her out, shall we? And while I'm here, I may as well pick up my truly hoppers. All born. That's a great sound of diesel locomotive. Now these engines sell for $335, but we're retailing them here at Yankee Dabbler for $299. Might seem like a lot for a little diesel switcher, but these engines are just chock full of so many different variations and details and lights and everything. And I think this thing, they're awesome. I really like these engines. So come into Yankee Dabbler and check these guys out because just like I said with all the other stuff, the best time to buy it is when you see it. Well, you just saw it, so get it before it rolls away. And we're going to conclude our album with a ballad, a love story. So are you ready? I'm going to take you. Some people like girls, some people like cats, but I'm in love with something rolling down the track. Some people think it's odd, some people think it's strange, but I went to Vegas and married my diesel train. Hmm. <sighs>
Oh, sorry. Got carried away. So come to Yankee Dabbler. Get these engines on your layout. Well, I want to thank you all for watching what's new here at Yankee Dabbler and putting out with my nonsense. It has been awesome taking a look at some of these diesel locomotives and rolling stock items So hopefully will find their way on your layout. Everything that you saw can be found on our website, yankeedabbler.com. And of course, you can always come into our store in Belmar, New Jersey. We would love to see you. Now, we've been talking about this fall lay of the extravaganza, and we need your videos. We need your photos. We need anything you want to participate in this event. It's going to be awesome. All the kids are talking about it. It's the rage on TikTok. It's just amazing. Everybody's going to want to do it. So come in. Please get those videos to Engineer Hall channel at uh, gmail.com. And please get that to us before October 31st. The guarantee that you are a part of our fall layout of extravaganza. I think it's going to be some really neat stuff here. All right. So I want to thank you very much for tuning in. Oh, by the way, our album that we're selling, uh, they are uh, going to be available on our website. We're thinking about the retail price for that album. It's going to be around $19.99. That's $1,999. It was a lot of production value, so we need to make up money somehow. So if anyone's interested, please let me know, and we'll get one of those albums to you. <laughs> Suckers. Anywho, so thank you very much for tuning in, and we're going to conclude this week's episode with another Railfan video. We're going to be taking a look at the Acela going down the Northeast Corridor in Holmesburg, Pennsylvania, and I think Engineer Hall might even have something to add to it. Check it out. We'll see you next time.